classical school of poetry. Generally, the period between 1680 and 1750 is known by varied names. Oliver Goldsmith was the first to call it Augustan Age. It is because comparison was made between the literary activities of this period in England and the period of progress in Rome under Emperor Augustus. Emperor Augustus had contributed a lot to all-round development of Rome which he found in brick and left it marble. It has also been called Age of Prose and Reason by Matthew Arnold. Matthew Arnold called it so for the spirit of this age was analytic and not synthetic. It put greater stress on reason and intellect rather than on passion and imagination. It has also been referred to as Age of Classicism. The term classic is used for writers and for literature that stand in a class by themselves. It is used in general for the work of the high rank in any literatures. The writer in this period looked at ancient Greek and Roman writers for guidance and inspiration. They insisted on beauty of form and novelty of expression. It was a revolt against the metaphysical school poetry. Characteristic of the classical school of poetry. The poets of this period thought that they had many qualities as the qualities of the poets in ancient Greece and Rome. They also thought that they were following rules. According to W. J. Long the general tendency of literature of this period was to look at life critically, to give stress on intellect rather than imagination. In fact, the rules were misunderstood. We can say that, manner was given more importance than matter. It was not important for them what to say, but how to say. In words of Alexander Pope, it was, nature methodized. They translated greater writers but would not bring the great spirit of great writer. Bentley observed, Pope's translation of Homer was literature of good sense, regularity, and order. Classicism put greater stress on reality and improvement of the readers. We may say that, it was a kind of progressive movement of the spirit of liberty at once fanciful and brilliant. The writers of this period cared more for rules and discipline so they cared more perfection of language. They would revise, rewrite what they wrote and try to say what they have to say in the fewest possible words. They continued it as long as the literary piece achieves perfection. Thus, attention was given more to language. The language of a woman was not considered suitable for expression. As a result, growth of artificial poetic diction is to be seen. It was not everyday language. It was like a civilized man speaking to other civilized person. The poets of classical school advocated perfect form hence, poetry of this period could not reflect warmth of feeling. Their rational approach resulted in rational tone. Therefore, it looks like prose. Another drawback is to be found in the fact that its range is strictly limited. It is literature of town and fashionable upper strata of the city of London. So, W. H. Hudson says it was almost a town poetry made out of interest of a society. As a result, we find artificiality and not spontaneity in their works. Satire became the most important vehicle of expression in this particular period. Use of Heroic Couplet Heroic Couplet was the most suitable medium for poetic ideals. Dryden and Pope were the best poets for satiric composition which is argumentative in tone and reflective in nature. London was center of attraction. It may be called coffee house culture. There were neither lyrics nor sonnets. According to Grierson, they were not real classicist, they may be called neoclassicist. It is because the ancient classicist produced harmonious balance between form and substance, manner and matter. This harmony was disturbed in this period. The tendency to write satire is the result of unfortunate union of politics and literature. The writers drifted from real nature because they were busy in party politics than in the human affairs. The period saw changes but the changes were beyond the reach of common man. It should be noted that the classical school of poetry does not appeal to the heart, though it appeals to the head. In brief, it was a literature of a class where common man had no room.
please subscribe literature guide